Are you guys also taking an extended study break? I spent like three hours on my first attempt for an assignment and then two hours on the second one. And the highest mark I got was 6.9 out of 20. It's horrible. We've got HAS tomorrow, the essay writing subject. So it's just a little bit of history. It's the same essays every year. Um, and so we know all the essays already. You just got to do a bit of Googling, a bit of reading, EBN, more EBN. <laughs> It's really painful at the moment, and I'm, because it's not like I've been going out and partying and that. I've been in here working, applying bum to chair, as the maths department um, always advises us to do. And it's not yielding results yet. This is going to end up in a window broken, I'm telling you. Bah! It is 10 to 3 in the afternoon. I'm going to write my HAZ test now. Yo, I'm not awake enough to write essays. Whoever decided afternoon tests were was a good idea was a real idiot. <laughs> bike is still managing to hold together despite the tube half sticking out. I really need to go and get a new tire but there's been no time man no time at all just studying. Has was good eh? wasn't too challenging. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I was good at history essay writing in school and so it was it was fun for a change. Nice break from the maths. <gasps> yes I'm cooking pasta. So excited. <laughs> I'm very stressed for this test tomorrow. <sighs> EBN. The thing is, I understand all the theory, all of the um, KBL and KCL and what to do, but just every time it comes to sorting an equation, you've got to start a new equation, I get one small thing wrong, and I can't solve the entire equation then. And the way they mark EBN is that you just fill it out on a form and a computer marks it, and it's just answers, so no method whatsoever. And the two hours of this, and then I'm actually going to go for a run. I need to de-stress today. Oh, I need a break. I've been sitting on that desk all day, my back is sore. I'm gonna go for a quick run just to get some of the circuits out of the brain. I'm running inside of the LC Zavillia Sports Campus like I always do. And as always, it's a beautiful sunset happening behind me. What a place to run. <laughs> But the past couple of runs I've been on, I've had really sore shins, almost like shin splints. I think it might be from a lot of riding, but ow, never had this in the past. And now, because it's quarter past ten, I'm an adult, and I'm nearly out of underwear, I'm going to do my laundry. <sighs> I'm quite stressed for this test tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if I pass. If not, I'm just going to really nail down during this upcoming holiday and really um, redo the tutorials, really go through the answers to all the hard questions and that, and really figure out where I'm going wrong. For now, washing's in. I'm gonna go have a glass of milk and more circuits. <laughs> see me just imagine you can. The great thing about being in a university res is that there's always people out and about no matter what time of day it is. Even if it's half past one in the morning there are people out working, grinding, 
having fun, partying, drinking occasionally, more often than occasionally. But um, there's so much life going on and there's so many people doing things. And it's so nice to be a part of that. Now that it is uh, just after one o'clock in the morning and my washing is all spread out everywhere to dry and I've finished washing my dishes, I'm going to bed now. Um, circuits tomorrow, I'm going to do my very, very best. We'll see what happens. I've started listening to another audiobook now. This one is uh, <laughs> an old one, actually, you might have heard of it. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Some really good ideas for a really, really old book. The principles of success in business and money making really haven't changed in the past, like, hundred years. Supply and demand and that, and uh, committing yourself 100% to an ideal in order to achieve it. And, yeah, some really interesting stuff that I'm going to start trying to apply in daily life. I don't know quite how to apply it to like a university lifestyle where you pass your course or you don't and if you don't pass your modules you fail the course and then you get kicked out so like I don't know quite how to apply that. Alright, I've spent the entire morning studying. It's now um, 5 to 11. I'm going to write my EBN test. Still very stressed. I've learnt a lot this morning considering uh, I've been studying for a while. I learned some transistors and a bit of superposition and source transformation. Whether or not the test is hard or not remains to be seen because some of the past papers were quite easy, some of them were really difficult. And so it all depends, I guess. I'm off. Wish me luck. And I'm done. It was, uh, it was okay. It was easier than the class test. The class test was horrible and I got 7% for it. But it was still quite confusing, quite complicated. Um, we got some really strange values. How was EVN for you, James? It was okay. It was much better than the first test. Yeah, so that's it. I'm not sure though, because Chris and him got some very different values to me. So just like this a question, this nodal analysis question where you have to set up an equation. Like I think I did that much better than I did in the other test. But, you know. Oh, but you don't have a test on Saturday. Ah, James is going to a wedding on Saturday instead of coming to his cause test. I'm very jealous. Not though when you have to do the sick test to make up for it. Oh. The sick tests are much harder. I'm right by the door, so I can always hear when people arrive. Ah. Don't know who that is. I must really get better at asking people who they're here for before I start letting them in. I can just open and I'm like, what's up? And they're like, hey, you know.